Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate how to answer um, E on this paper, which is the drawing of a compound bar graph. What you will need for this is a pencil and a ruler. So the important thing here is that it is a compound bar graph. As I showed you earlier on in this clip, what the word compound actually means. So what that means is that you need to make sure that the total of your percentages will add up to 100. So in this question, it's asking you to draw a compound bar graph using the key, which is below, um, to show the percentage share of the national wealth for India using the data from figure five. So figure five is this graph or this table above, as you can see but it is only asking you to include the data for India. So we are just going to be looking at the data here. Because it is a compound bar graph, the percentages will all add up to 100. So if you add eight plus 12 plus 15 plus 21 plus 44, it will give you a total of 100. And as you can see down here, your axis goes up to 100. So what they've done is they've done the first section for you, which is eight. So you can see the poorest 20% has already been drawn for you eight. So they've gone along to eight. However, on the next one, the next percentage share is 12%. However, we wouldn't just draw up to 12 because that would only give us a 4% share of the answer. Because it is compound, what that means is you need to add the value before to the current value. So you would do eight plus 12, which will give us 20. You will then need to draw your bar up to 20. So you'll take your ruler and then you'll draw along up to 20. So you should have a box which looks like this. Then as we can see from the table, this is the fourth 20%. So when we look at our key down here, the fourth 20% is indicated by um, some horizontal lines. So you then need to add your horizontal lines to that section of your bar. Perfect. So you've now completed the fourth 20%. So you can tick that second box off. This time, you're, you're now going to look at the third 20%. For the third 20%, you have a value of 15. So what you need to do, you need to add the 15 to your previous value. So we had 20. So you do 20 plus 15, which will give you a value of 35. Because it's compound, this will give you the section onto your graph. So you'll go along to 35, so halfway between 30 and 40, you draw your line up, and then you will draw it across, as I've done here. And this one is the third 20%, as you can see. So if we look at our key at the bottom, this is symbolized by a box with our dots on it. So you then need to add the dots to your section of the compound bar graph. It doesn't need to be perfect, just as long as the examiner can see that this is your section of the graph. Um, the way that we can check that this is correct is we can work out the difference between. So for example, our percentage is 15 for the third 20%. So if we do 20 to 35, that should give us a 15% window, which it does. So you've got 10 and then you've got five. If we check the fourth 20%, it should give us a 12% difference. So we've got eight to 20, which is 12. So you just continue this process on. So this time for the second 20%, you've got 21. So this time you will add 21 to 35. So 21 plus 35 is 56. So 56 is the value you're going to draw on your graph. Now, because this is the second 20%, we look down here. So it's um, vert not vertical, sorry, diagonal lines. So you draw your diagonal lines onto your section. Perfect, so you've completed that one now. So your second 20% is done. And then finally, your richest 20% is 44. 
So it should be that when we add 44 to 56, we should get 100, which we do. So we know that we have completed the graph correctly. So now it's just left to draw our final bar all the way to our 100%. This time it's kind of a hatch design for your richest 20%. So richest 20%, richest 20%. So you just draw that across your bar like so. So that's how you complete your compound bar graph. Thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed the clip and found it useful for all your geography revision needs, please hit the like button below. If you want access to more content like this, more revision playlists, more exam technique and feedback, please subscribe to the channel. Regular content will be added and updated to help support you on your GCSE journey.